Hello, my name is Shao Nanma. I'm from Tsinghua University. Today, I'm going to talk about our art, Range Query Optimized Persistent Art. It is a joint work between Tsinghua University and the Institute of Computing Technology. Our work is about persistent indexes, building blocks for many key value stores at databases, such as Memcached, Redis, MySQL, MongoDB, and so on. A lot of works have been published in the past decade. Many of them are simulation-based research. Commercial persistent memory devices such as Intel Optin DCPMM were available two years ago. It's time to think about applying the existing persistent data structures in practice. Previous work almost focused on performance. Is performance enough in this work? We consider three aspects, including functionality, performance, and correctness. Firstly, two features are required for the functionality, including range query and variable sized keys. Common indexes are tree based indexes and hashi based indexes. Since tree based indexes can naturally support range queries, our paper focuses on tree based indexes. Variable sized keys support is a requirement of most key value stores and databases. In our work, we hope to support these two features at the same time. For range queries, we analysis two G based indexes, B plus G and tree. If we need to traverse all data in the tree, B plus G needs list pointer chasing. Leaf nodes in B plus G have sibling pointers to connect to the next leaf node. On the contrary, Try suffer more pointer chasing because range queries traverse different levels of try. For variable set key support, we analysis some existing works, including NV tree, WB plus tree, FP tree, LB plus tree, and FastFare. Their designs are all optimized for 8 byte keys. Their nodes are array structured. Key value pairs are appended in the nodes. Fixing the tree to 8 bytes can reduce the amount of metadata to maintain, thus reducing persistence overhead. Based on such design, if we want to support variable size keys, pointers of keys need to be stored in the nodes, and the keys are stored in another area. After this modification, the persistent B plus tree will suffer extra string comparison, pointer chasing, and uh, persistence overhead. We modify FastFair using the above method. The performance is degraded by 1.8 to 3.9 times. A data structure that naturally support variables as keys is desired. Thus, this paper proposes a range query optimized adaptive Redix tree. Secondly, performance always plays an important role in persistent indexes design. Previous work has reported the performance of interopt and DCPMM. Many works have proposed many optimizations to reduce the number of store flash fence instructions. In this work, we offer several art-oriented optimizations. Finally, we will discuss the correctness of persistent indexes in our work, we focus on two aspects, memory safety and uh, anomaly resolution. Memory safety is mainly about persistent memory leaks during allocation and GC. Anomaly resolution includes dirty read and uh, lost update. We will discuss memory safety here. Anomaly resolution can be found in the paper. When allocating persistent memory, Traditional malloc free interfaces are not an appropriate choice. A volunteer allocator is commonly used in DRAM, and it has no guarantee for failure atomicity. For example, we want to allocate a new node connected by node 1. The allocator will firstly allocate node 2, and then we can connect node, two, node 1 to node 2. Consider the following case, system crash after connecting node 2. But before persisting the connection, in such a case, after a restart, node 2 is unreachable, leading to a memory leak. There are two ways to implement persistent allocators providing failure atomicity. 
One is to use logs, and uh, the other is to use a post-crash GC strategy. Logs can recover the data in constant time, but this way suffers slow allocation because of extra logging. Post-crash GC behaves very similar to volunteer allocators, but this way needs to scan all persistent memory areas to restore the metadata of the allocator. It has a faster allocation deallocation performance, but suffers slow recovery. We evaluate the performance of several allocators. We can find that persistent allocators have lower performance than volunteer allocators. Login-based allocators, such as PMDK and MVMLoc, is slower than post-crash GC allocator Makalu. We also test the recovery time of Makalu. As the size of data increase, this recovery time can become quite long. To avoid uh, memory leaks, persistent allocators are necessary, but existing persistent allocators have their own drawbacks, so we need to design a better persistent allocator. After the discussion of three practical aspects, we propose several design choices. For functionality, we choose adaptive Redix tree as our basis, which naturally supports variable size keys. We propose leaf compaction to optimize range query. For performance, we propose three optimizations. For correctness, we design a new allocator, DCMM, optimized for allocation performance and recovery time. Adaptive Redix tree is a space effi efficient Redix tree. Leaf compaction can compact the pointers of leaf nodes into a leaf array in the Redix tree. A leaf array can contain up to 64 leaf nodes. If a subtree of the Redix tree can less than or equal to 64 leaf nodes, the subtree is, in, is compacted into a leaf array. Several methods have been proposed to improve performance. Leaf compaction not only improves range queries, but also has other two advantages. We also propose three art-oriented optimizations to reduce persistence overhead. More details can be found in the paper. We propose delayed check memory management, an allocator based on post-crash GC, it has two layers. The first is a global manager to manage the entire persistent memory area as a granularity of pages. The second layer is thread local allocators to reduce contention. Each thread maintains several lists of free chunks with various sizes for allocation. The global manager allocates pages to each thread. DCMM can minimize the allocation overhead and uh, eliminate the long recovery time. Here, thread1 sends a request to its thread local allocator. The request is satisfied uh, for free chunks are available locally. The allocator in thread2 cannot satisfy the request, so it uh, resorts the global manager to get free pages. During recovery, a uh, recovery thread firstly traverses the indexes and uh, finds all used chunks. Then it calculates addresses and uh, sizes of all unused chunks to recover the metadata of DCMM. To eliminate the long recovery time, we propose an instant restart strategy in DCMM. After restart, the re recovery process can run in parallel with normal processing workloads. The memory manager can always find free space on PM to satisfy the requests from thread. The recovery thread can proceed in the background to garbage collection on used chunks and free pages. Finally, we report some evaluations in our paper. We choose five state-of-the-art works to compare, including PART, PMWCS, FastFair, Lock-Free, Scape List, and BZ-Tree. We also make some modifications 
to guarantee the fairness of the comparison. We test the micro bench with four threads in lookup, insert, update, and remove. Our art can outperform all other indexes. In range query, our art has a comparable performance with 2B plus G, uh, FastFair, and uh, BZH. In YCSB, our art has better performance and uh, scalability than other indexes. We also measure the performance breakdown of each optimization. We can find leaf compaction has an improvement for every operation. The other three methods improve the performance of right operations. We also evaluate range query performance with and without leaf compaction. The performance can be improved by up to two times. More tests can be found in our paper. In conclusion, three practical aspects are important. Our art takes all these practical aspects into account with several optimizations, such as leaf compaction, entry compression, selective metadata persistence, minimally ordered split, and DCMM with instant restart. Our art can achieve better performance than the state-of-the-art persistence indexes. Thank you for your listening.